You know, I spent a lot of time telling you why the reasons why I think I'm single. But you know, today, even if it is only for one day, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to be proud of being single. I mean, it's cheap. I'm not saying I don't have any money or anything like that to go on dates, but you know, it can add up. TV control. I'm so set in my TV viewing, sports, history, channel, Discovery Channel, and anything from the 80s and so on. So if a girl came over all the time and attempted to take over my remote, and if she's sweet and cute, I'd probably give in. And that'd be pretty sad. No responsibility. I'm not required to be anywhere on behalf of a girl. Again, my friend who goes out to dinner every week, he had a calendar he kept with his girlfriend all summer of the activities they, they did together. I don't have to keep up an organized schedule to pick up someone's parents at the airport or sit through her sister's boring musical. Another thing is I can go out and I can talk to anybody. I can still enjoy playing the field and meeting a lot of people. But nothing ever seems to work out, but hey. You know, it's kind of exhilarating to have the hope in eventually dating after you meet a cool person. It's fun and give it a shot and you know, chase whether you fail or succeed. One of the best things you can do when you're single, even if you're unhappily single, is to, you know, work on yourself, try new things, go new places, develop new talents, network, grow professionally. When you're in a partnership with someone else, you can still improve, but it's not that easy to focus on yourself the 110%. And with all this said about being the positive, you really can't go without saying the bad things about being single. And tell me that you you know, it would be nice to have someone there who was actually good at the little things that I suck at. You know, keeping my collar down, keeping my clothes unwrinkled, managing my money, and you know, decorating. I think about it, I kind of suck at a lot of stuff. I know I harp on how I love controlling my own time and having no responsibility, but once in a while, it would be nice to know that someone is always there if I want to spend some down, some downtime with them. I love thinking of fun things to do and cool places to go. There's so many interesting things that are made more fun with the girl, from camping to cooking. Sometimes it's just nice to have someone to make happy. You know, it's more fun watching a scary movie with someone special. I love listening to the storm and the rain outside, but it would be even better if I had someone there I was really into. The bottom line is that there is a green grass on either side of being single or the not single side of the fence. My friends with girlfriends and wives or are jealous of my freedom, and I'm jealous of their great relationships. The key to remaining happy whether you're single or not is to celebrate the great things about being single or not single and to try to be happy no matter what situation you're in because the chances are you'll be on the other side of the fence at some point. Hey, I think that's about it with my, um, my single experience. It was cool. Hey, that's life. You, you.